Happy Tutorial Tuesday, everybody. It is Valentine's week, and who doesn't love Valentine's Day? I love, love, and today we don't have, we are doing a tutorial. We, usually my Tuesday videos are Too Funny Tuesdays, but since it's the week of love, and girls, I know you wanna pamper yourselves, Guys, if you're looking for ways to pamper your women or things you could get hurt, I have the perfect solution. Also, this is a great video on how you can save money, ways of cutting corners during the month where you can still feel pampered, still feel like you're taking care of yourself, but you don't really quite have the money to be spending on the things we love. I don't know about you guys, but I'm a gel manicure type of girl. I love going in and getting gel nails. A, gel nails or shellac nails are like the permanent nail polish you put under the light, they cure. They paint your nails, you leave, and you're done. You don't have to worry about if they're dry, if you've bumped them, if you get those little tiny air bubbles in your nails. I hate those. I get anxiety when I paint my nails at home because I'm like waiting for them to dry. Even if I use Drip Dry, even if I use Top Fast Super Speed Coat, I still feel like I'll be doing the dishes and hit them and they get a line in them or a fuzzy or I chip one because for some reason, Nail polish just doesn't love my nails. I don't know why. Even if I get an, an amazing manicure, it'll maybe last three days. Girls, if you've experienced this, you know what I'm talking about. That's why we love gel nails and shellac nails because you can have a really awesome manicure for like two weeks, still look shiny, and it's beautiful. But it's 30 bucks. I don't know where you guys go or how much you pay around here to get a really good quality gel nail manicure, even just to paint your nails. It's anywhere between 20 to $30, including tip. And if you add that up, you have special events in the month or you get your nails even done twice in the month, that's $60 and that is a lot of money. And as I've started to learn how to budget and where I can save money and cut corners, I realized, Carly, you don't need to get your nails done every single month. It's 30 bucks. What way can you figure out to do this at home? So here is the best thing ever. At Walmart, there is, what is this little guy? It looks like a little robot. What is it? Um, there is this cute little set, ha, holla, and it is a gel nail set, and for the whole set, it is $30. It includes a individual light for your nail, it comes with a color, and of course, you can choose the colors. Um, here's what that one looks like. It also comes with, the, if you've ever gotten your gels done, after they do your whole nails, they spend all these times, they take, um, after they're done, they take a solution and wipe your nails with kind of a cotton ball looking thing. And you freak out, you're like, wait, you just spent all the time on my nails, why are you wiping it off? But guess what? They're not, they're just taking off the sticky or like the top base of the gel. So um, it comes with the solution for that, so this cute little bottle and these cotton swabs. And then it comes with a cuticle pusher and um, just help you around the edges if you color outside the lines, which I always do. And it also comes with a little tiny baby nail file, um, this cute little pink nail file so that you can buff your nails, and also it comes with an instruction manual, holla, who doesn't love instruction manuals, and it comes in this cute little clear box. So for 30 bucks you get a color and all of these things, which is a really good deal because think about it, if you chip a gel nail for some reason or somehow it lifts, then you're like, crap, I don't wanna go back to the salon and pay like a nail fix because sometimes most salons will charge you for a nail fix, $2, $5, whatever. So you can fix it for yourself at home. I love that this is so tiny. Like you could put this in your purse. You could put it in a clutch if you had to. Like manicure on the go, emergency manicure. And the great greatest part is you don't have to do a top coat and a base coat with this product. It is a top coat, base coat, and color all in one. It is called Fuse Gel Namel. K-F-U-S-E gel enamel. Um, it, all you have to do is buff, then cleanse your nail, apply one thin coat to the nail, fuse, then clean that nail before moving on to the next nail. So fusing meaning stick it in the light and let it cure. The light doesn't take as long as the whole hand because think when you put your whole hand in one of those little dome things, it's curing for the whole hand. So this light only, you it fits your little, perfect little finger in there or your thumb, your pinky. It fits, of course, all your fingers. Imagine that, it, it does that. And you can also put your toes in there unless you have super like huge toes, and I'm sorry if you do. But you can adjust this, I believe. I haven't ever had to, but I mean, you can lift this up a little bit more or you can, st I don't know what you would do. If your toe is bigger than this, then I'm sorry, you can't do a gel nail on your toe. You got big toes. So, and then the other 
exciting news is, okay, so you bought this $30 package for the month. That's like your one gel now, okay? But think of it as an investment because then you have this light for the rest of the month. So get a color that you want to stay dedicated to for the month or they have, they also sell individual colors, which is even more amazing, opens their options even more, and they are only seven bucks. So in the long run, in the long scheme of things, you buy the packet for 30 bucks and then the next day or month, if you want a different color, you go and get a different color. And they're only $7 for your awesome gel nail manicure that lasts that you don't have to go to the salon to get. So I have bought in pink and red and then with my gel, what I picked was this pink glittery one. And I was like, how fun we can do a Valentine's nail tutorial and I can show you guys. Um, no, they are not paying me to do this. No, this is not sponsored. But hey, Fuse, feel free. If you like this video tutorial, send me some more colors because I love it. I think this is a great concept. And I'm excited to share it with you guys because you guys always ask me about my nails and I used to be a nail goer, but I'm like, you know what? I need to start learning to save money and putting that money somewhere else in the salon. So I'm excited to start doing these at home. Guys, if you want to get your girl this, it's 30 bucks. It's such a cute idea for you to go get her this set and she can do her nails at home. Or if you want to stay tuned and watch the video, you can learn how to do the nails. So first and foremost, decide what obviously color you're going to stick with. If you're going to do more than one, how you want it. And we are going to make sure you buff your nails really well. They're clean. All the polish is off of them. I have ugh, gross bare naked nails and we are going to um, just buff our nails first and foremost so that um, a lot of the times our nails absorb the oils, the lotions, grease from our face, our hair, whatever and that makes it harder for the nail polish to stick to the nail. So just go make sure that you buff your nails and you shape them of course how you want them. But buffing, all I'm doing is taking this buffer and just going right over the top of the nail and just kind of making sure that anything that would help the polish to not stick or lift is taken off and that they're nice and clean. And obviously I have no snaggles and they're the shape that I want. Um, lastly, this does not come with the kit, but I would recommend it. It does help extend the life of your manicure. It's called Bond Aid and it's OPI. Um, it looks like this. It comes in this little bottle for some reason. I love the way it smells. If you guys know me, you know I love smells. It's this cute little brush. You are going to take that after you have washed your hands from buffing them and you are going to go along your nail bed like that. Careful not to get on your cuticle and it's just going to really help dry out that nail so that the polish will really stick. So I'm going to go buff, wash, and then I'm going to go over my nails with this so that the colors will stick to my nails. So now that I need to quickly apply this, um, remember to keep it on this part of the nail. You see where that white little crown comes and then just come down by the tips. You don't want to get it on your cuticles. Do the best as you can not to get it on your cuticles. And a lot of this solution goes a long way. So, and this doesn't of course come with the set. It's just something that I have acquired over the years of the manicures. So what I believe I'm going to do is I'm going to do one nail, the ring finger glittery, this pink glitter, and then I'm going to do my pinky and my birdie finger pink and then these two red. So I don't know if that's going to be, actually, you know what, I lied. I am going to do them all pink with one glitter nail and then I'm gonna do some red hearts so that I can show you how to do a little nail art. So first and foremost, we are going to um, paint the thumb. I have, so with gel, you wanna make sure, again, do not get the paint, of course, on your, um, on your skin at all and make sure you do not get it on your cuticles. I'm really bad at that. And with these gels, you want to, the thinner the better because you can't, it won't cure under the light if it's too thick. And make sure after you've done that, you kind of go over the tip of the nail and under it so that you're really like locking and sealing that color under in. That's usually when your manicure will lift if you have, of course, I got all my skin, I always do. If you just go to the edge, to the tip of the nail without kind of like sealing the color underneath. So then all you do from there is just take your little thumb, stick it in the light, and turn on this cute little light, do you guys see that? And let it cure. Super convenient, super fun. 
It'd be, good, it'd be great to have a girls' night, have some friends over. You could paint their nails. You guys could all go in on the set and then borrow the light, of course. Or, I mean, for $30, it really is a good investment if you are an advocate of manicures and getting your nails done. The only thing I would say with this tutorial is I do love a really shiny manicure. And so I do, it is shiny. So there, it's cured. It's done. Oh, that was like, what, 20 seconds? So that's what the color looks like. Um, the only thing I would say about this, obviously, the downfall is I do think that, you know, loving um, a really shiny gel manicure, I kind of am a little bit sad that there's not a top coat because I feel like with a top coat, it just gives it that really extra polished, I got my nails done, they look really good type of a shine. And so I'm sad that they don't offer a top coat option, but it is also with on that on the flip side, you don't have to do the base coat and then cure it and then the color and then cure it and then another coat of color and then cure it and then the top coat. So it does take out time of the equation, but it isn't quite that high quality glossy um, shine. And I will show you guys at the end of the video what the nails look like and everything so you can really judge for yourself. And I do notice that these don't last quite as long as the gelish or the shellac, the higher quality colors that you would get at a salon. But again, you're trying to look at the long term, the long road, and really this is just kind of a fun option for if you're trying to save money, if you're trying to treat yourself, but you know you can't be affording gel manicures every month. But I painted that these on a probably a Monday or Tuesday, and they lasted a good six days. Um, if you take your time and you do good painting, obviously, then it will go it will go a long way. But you can tell just the quality of the the product, the polish itself, isn't as high quality as we would want it to be. But again, it's about the investment. Of course, you're not supposed to get on your skin, but I did. I need to get better at that. I'm just always in such a hurry. The only, and then the other thing I was gonna say is, there is something nice about going to a salon appointment and somebody just really taking care of you. I love the salon I go to here. Shout out, Studio 145. I just, sometimes you don't have time, it's money, stuff like that. So I do miss that aspect of like having someone just kind of that personal touch, the quality time they spend on you and you know, if you're not really good at painting your nails. But really that's the only downfall I have with this product is me, is the quality, the top coat, and then you know, the one-on-one. -on -one. But that's my honest and fair opinion. I would love to hear what you guys have to say about the nails, the color, the set everything if you've used it if you liked it um, leave comments below if you have tips for me um, so those three are already done and we're going to go on to the pinky and skip the ring finger because again we're doing that one glittered um, if you're doing a second coat with these you don't wipe off the sticky you will just go back over and do another coat on top of your gel nail and then wipe off the sticky at the very end and if you guys have never had gel nails you're probably like what is she talking about so when you get a gel manicure um, after the light cures it, it kind of dries the polish, but if you were to touch it right now, it's kind of sticky or tacky, and that is just the way that it finishes, but you just take a little of the solution that they give you and wipe it off with a tiny bit with a, with a cotton ball, and then it is sealed and done, and that's what's the best thing about gel nails, is you're free to do whatever you want with your hands, and you're not going to bump them. So while that's actually curing, I can take this glitter color, and I'm going to do, I always like to do one ring finger, just like a little bit different, something with a design or always a little bit of glitter because every girl needs glitter in her life, especially on Valentine's Day. And this pink color, um, it's really pretty. It's really sparkly, but it was a little deceiving because I thought it was going to be more of like a matte pink sparkle rather than a, you know, just solid sparkles. So, um... Beware if you're looking for this like the, it was I thought it was gonna be literally the color of the bottle But look how cute that is. I mean you can't complain for 30 bucks doing it on your own You really do look like hey, I went to the salon and got this done So this pink sparkle is a fun one and I thought of ways of you can just do like half a nail Over the color or you can just do the tip. We did do my mom's red and we did um, Sparkles over her red on her ring finger, 
but the sparkle is so thick it's going to cover the color more than you'd want it to so there's a tip for that so anyways I'm gonna finish this hand do two more or do one more coat with the pink on these hand these nails as well as um, one more glare coat and then I'm gonna show you guys how to do some hearts on your nails and add some designs for Valentine's Day all right you guys there is the final product of the Valentine's nails we are the we did the pink with the one sparkly nail and these are the colors I chose for Valentine's I'm gonna show you guys really quickly if you want how you can do a heart or you can add some designs to your hands but these are the colors I'm sticking with and I love them I just showed you guys a close-up of the nails this is normal if you are going after you paint your nails and you take the sticky off this is a, the color is going to come off a little bit that is totally normal so when you start doing that don't freak out but um yeah so just totally be aware of that something that i would recommend doing after you have painted is using this same wipe and just kind of taking your brush and cleaning off um, all the excess polish and then taking this wipe and grabbing your brush just like this and and dragging off that excess polish with gel nail um, they can clump easily and just get grody so make sure you clean off your bottle lid and your polish so it stays clean and looks healthy like that so the next time you use it it's not gonna be glumpy and gross so there's that ready to use for next time and don't forget to clean your polishes if you wanted to do I can't decide if I wanted to do a little baby um red heart I think I'm actually going to gel nails is if you do something like a design like that can you guys see that if I'd hold it still there's a heart and um, the great thing with gel nails is if you don't like that design all you do is get whoop there goes our thing is get a one of these again and use a solution take this and you just wipe it right off of the nail look at that and no harm done so you can practice doing the design if you loved your design then all you would do is stick it in the light cure it and then wipe off the sticky when you're done but I'm thinking I am loving these all right you guys thank you for sticking with me for 18 minutes of that nail tutorial really all I wanted to tell you is that I think that this is an op awesome alternative to gel nails that you can save money and they do a good job I've been really impressed with my nails. I didn't end up going with the heart. I just kind of loved the simple pink and the glitter. So I hope you love this tutorial. If you have used this product before and you have any comments, recommendations, reviews, ups or downs, leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And stay tuned for tomorrow for whatever Wednesday, whatever we're going to be doing. And I love you guys. Happy Valentine's Day week.